For this practice problem, we're going to use a right Riemann sum with six rectangles to approximate the area under the curve over the interval from 2 to 5. So we're going from 2 to 5, and we need six rectangles. So if we go every half unit, so from 2 to 2.5, 2.5 to 3, 3.5 to 4, to 4.5 to 5, we'll have six rectangles. So using a right Riemann sum means that the height of our rectangle comes at the right side um, of our interval here. So from 2 to 2.5, the height of our rectangle is going to be using the point x equal to 2.5. So that will be a rectangle. And then we'll do the same thing from 2.5 to 3. It will be the rightmost point that's the height of the rectangle. And then we'll keep doing this. And notice that when I get to four and a half, the right side um, is right on the x-axis. So there's no rectangle here. And then on this side, I didn't do the right side, I did the left side. Did you see that? There we go. Um, so there are the rectangles, and I have a nicer picture of them over here. So there are the rectangles that we're going to use to approximate the area under the curve. And for each rectangle, we have a width of one half. So right here, this rectangle, we're going from two to two and a half. So the width is going to be 0 0.5. And the height of this rectangle is going to be six. And let's do that for each rectangle. And again, notice that the width for every single one of these is going to be 0 0.5. So for the rectangle from 2 to 2.5, um, we will have 0 0.5 times 6. And then for the rectangle from 2.5 to 3, again, the width is 0 0.5, but now the height is 5. From 3 to 3.5, the width is 0 0.5, and the height is 3. Uh, from 3.5 to 4, the width is 0 0.5, and the height is 2. From 4 to 4.5, technically, the width is 0 0.5, and the height is 0. And then for the last one, the height is 0 0.5 still. Um, Sorry, the width is 0 0.5, but the height is negative 2, since it's below the x-axis. So notice that we can factor out that 0 0.5 to get that. <clears throat> and when we add up these numbers, we will get 14. So this will be 0 0.5 times 14, or... 7. So the approximate area under this curve is 7 square units.